front row making a cracking start there we have Roger Newbold. Roger Newbold who had a very fraught past first part of this um, Irish involvement and that's gone it didn't go very very well at all and was not happy with the engine but making a good start here to lead 26 Tony Bardi with Clive Richardson coming in the act there in third place Sam Crawford in fourth but as they come away through the chicane for the first time Tony Bardi you can see having to do something about Roger Newbold this mid-engined forward powered Renault 5 uh, which has very, very good traction off the start line. And the Harrogate engineer, twice Formula B champion of Great Britain, making an excellent start as Tony Barney has to sit there momentarily on the start line while the wheels spin and then try and get his act together through the course of the heat. And that he most certainly does. But what that leads to, of course, is highly entertaining rally cross. There in the black car is Derek Lisbeth, who has been having a fairly involved weekend here at Mondello Park. And as you saw from our opening credits, we can't show you everything, but my heavens, there's been some fairly major involvement with some of the drivers here with the scenery during this uh, very fast circuit meeting, hosting round four of the championship. And Tony Bardi there getting two wheels up on the tyres as he went through the chicane, dropping back a little bit onto Roger Newbold, but regaining the momentum and coming into once again challenge. Still Clive Richardson holding the very strong third place. Clive Richardson in third third place still and I hear I think about to be challenged no Sam Crawford with the Mark II Escort can't quite get close enough and Derek Lisbeth there in fifth position with the black Escort as they go on their way so the battle for the lead still goes on its way still Roger Newbold with the advantage Tony Barney keeps coming up to close and uh, yes the Today, we would have thought maybe that uh, on this fast circuit, maybe the Vauxhall would have been all conquering, but um, it's not to be, Alan. No, I think well, Roger Newbold with a new Cosworth engine inside the Renault now, having got the problem sorted out, I think he's well on the song with this particular very fast circuit here at uh, Mondello Park. Yeah, it's a slower revving engine than what he's had yeah. in the past, and they've had to work hard on the gearing, but uh, coming here today, where to the best of my knowledge, he's never driven for on this circuit before, so obviously he's got to... Uh, sort things out once again he seems to have done that very very quickly and uh, Roger Newbold going rather well at the moment still Tony Bardi sitting there in second place with the Vauxhall dealer sport uh, backed car two liter Astra GTE takes the checkered flag is uh, number 34 Roger Newbold he wins this one Tony Bardi in second Clive Richardson hangs on to third but we're told that the race has to be rerun this qualifying race is a rerun uh, so, we're on a rerun situation of this race, and so see if Roger Newbold can do it all over again. And Roger Newbold it is, again making a good start with Sam Crawford into second place this time. Sam Crawford up into second place amongst the others, I should have said, but not for much longer, because Bill Barker has brought the Toyota up into third place. So, to the Bill Barker in the Toyota in third place. There's uh, Kevin Sherry with the Group A GTI Golf, but we've got a battle on for the lead, and Tony Bardi getting alongside Newbold there, but not able to quite make... Uh, the room that he wanted to take that advantage and so it's still Roger Newbold from Tony Bardi as they come through. Roger Newbold, Tony Bardi, those two cars beginning to pull away, those two drivers between them with three British Formula B championships to their credit go on their way. The battle's still very much on, they come past the grandstand and up towards Subaru once again and it's still number 34 Roger Newbold from 26 Tony Bardi. Tony taking a very tight line there with the front wheel drive car and uh, retaining his challenge on Roger Newbold terrible situation Alan when you've just won a race and then it's rerun you've got to do it all over again yes but at least he's getting value for money this weekend isn't he well, he's, he is yes and Roger's doing very very well this is the best we've seen Roger in the championship so far this year and uh, he can hang on to this who knows he may be the man to beat in the finals but Roger Newbold finds that Tony Bardi gets the nose of the 16 valve Astra on the inside but can't quite get it through and the Micron engineering car goes on its way and the force is such that it puts Tony Bardi up on two wheels there in the Subaru Shankane and that drops him back just a little bit as we can see 42 involved in there with Kevin Sherry number 42 in all manner of problems that's uh, Lindsay Ferry from Dungannon but back with the leaders and here comes Tony Bardi alongside Tony Bardi through on the inside as they come up to the grandstand onto the loose Tony Bardi goes into the lead Tony Bardi into the lead as they go on to their last lap so a marvellous manoeuvre there from Tony Bardi, superb driving skill, but Roger Newbold not letting him get away, and Roger tucks the little Renault right in behind the rear of the Vauxhall as they come down towards the completion of this last lap, down the back straight onto that fast right-hander, onto the loose. Tony Bardi throwing the 16-valve Astra through on the tarmac, comes away, and he's going to take victory as they come through to lap an ailing Sam Crawford. Victory then for Tony Bardi from Roger Newbold. 
so the rerun, good for him, but not so good for Roger Newbold.